When I first came to Cody, Joy Road from Southfield to Evergreen was dangerous. The kids fought on the Southfield freeway. That's when I realized there is a suicidal mindset. If I get hit, so what? What did I really lose? And that's the part people don't get. And, and the thing that solves it is they miss the one thing we all have, and that's hope. I tell anybody this. If it wasn't for Skillman and United Way, Cody Rouge would be dead. Skillman created good neighborhoods, which allowed for Don Bosco Hall to be created, for there to be activities in the community, support in the community, and all of a sudden, everything was working in concert, and it brought back hope. I've been here for a World Series. I've been here through various mayors, ups and downs. I, I've seen over and over again this idea that there would be a renaissance in Detroit. All that's going on with some of the corporations that are helping Life for Model, you know, GM and Quicken, and you get the vibe that the dots are starting to connect. This is the largest single volunteer effort during one week period of time that GM's ever done. Uh, General Motors is committed to the city. This is our home. The work we're doing with the schools is so important because if you're going to have a strong city, you've got to have a strong education system, and that's where we're investing. The work that's being done here, I think, is going to be very, very transformative for the kids that go to school here. We are trying to affect all of the change that we can in any way possible that really encompasses the entire city. It's going to go down in history as something very cool that the city was able to be part of and look back and say that's where something big started. I'm so happy I don't have to deal with it anymore. I mean, it's, it's totally different now.